Order of the Arrow, the OA elections are right around the corner. Let's talk about it. Hey, Scouter Stan, want to talk about the Order of the Arrow. We are going directly into the season for elections. Okay, even if it's if you're watching this and it's not the season where you're at, that's okay. Go ahead and watch it, make notes, come back and see it again before you do the elections. So that's one of those things. A lot of these videos are evergreen. You could come back anytime and watch any of them. Now, when we start talking about elections, we often recall it the election team, but it's actually known as the inductions team. They are bringing scouts into the order so that's that's their job they're called the induction team now the order of the arrow is the official um, honored camper society of the boy scouts so scouts bsa whether you're in a girl troop or a boy troop they have elections uh crew if you're in venturing and you're in a venture crew which is co-ed that can be very uh, interesting as far as the election goes. Now there's also uh, Sea Scout ships that do elections too, and they're co-ed also. So that's a wonderful thing about the Order of the Arrow it has gone co-ed. Um, we have girls and boys. We have men and women both in the Order. Keep in mind that YPT still applies to this election. Now, what that means is, as an adult leader in a troop, a crew, or a ship, you, as the adult, are to contact the chapter. Now, that's not done by making a phone call. That's not done by sending a singular email or text. It has to be done with too deep leadership. Now, one of the best ways to get a hold of and the attention of the inductions team is to meet up with them at something like round table or an event that the district is putting on. So you can meet up with them and make the arrangements for the place and time for the election. Now, you can send an email and text as long as it's a group so make sure that you keep that too deep leadership, even in your communications. Now, unit leaders, make sure that you make some kind of contact with the chapter. There's a chapter advisor and there's a chapter chief that will actually know who to contact in the inductions group for the chapter. This can be done adult to adult, and they can convey that to the youth. Uh, that's something that needs to be done. Whether you have eligible candidates or not, you need to be in contact with them. Because if they go down that list that they get from council uh, and they don't hear from you, they think that they've messed, messed up. It might be just that you don't have anybody that's eligible. Okay, So make sure that you contact them and let them know that you don't have anybody eligible. If that's the case, most of the time you want to set up that time and that location. That is critical. The youth requirements for youth that are under 21 um, are very simple. They first must be a registered scout in a unit, uh, like a troop or a crew or a ship. So that is a requirement. They must also have 15 days and nights of camping and five of those can be long-term camping, like a summer camp. Now, the days of camping usually are covered within the rank requirements. So most of the time, they're already got that. Now, the rank requirement for uh, to be a candidate is to have, in a troop, your first class. In a venture crew, it's discovery. In Sea Scouts, it's the ordinary rank. All candidates must be approved by the unit leader. That is a requirement. They have to be approved by the unit leader. Now, the induction team will have a folder of forms that they will they'll have a form in there for adult nominations. Most scoutmasters that are not currently members of the order can easily 
get put right into the next ordeal. That is very easy for them to do that. Most of the time there's paperwork that the committee needs to be filling out so that an adult can be a candidate. The induction team will arrive at the place and time that you specified. Make sure that you have all of the documentation that's needed for that election. Now, in some parts of the United States, we have Scout Book, and it helps with that paperwork. The nomination, even the ballots, all of that stuff can be electronically done. And there's other software that's out there that will do that. So if your unit has that available, make sure the induction team knows about it. Now, they'll have all the manual stuff just in case. So if something happens, they can still do the election. Now, unit leaders, you need to set aside some time to go over the information that's provided. Uh, make sure that your program is going and all the names are in there and everybody is approved and it's appropriate. So that's very important to set aside time for that. Don't be caught up in other meetings when you're needed for this election to happen. A lot of times the induction team will have a video uh, or a presentation, a speech that's all typed out, and they will go through that process of reading that or showing the video. During the video, they will hand out ballots, and these ballots are to be filled out according to the instructions. Once that happens, it's handed back to the youth, the, the induction team, the election team people. They want to make sure that they get those ballots back. Now, depending on your area, some areas will have an immediate announcement of the scouts that have been nominated to go through their ordeal. In many other parts of the country, they may choose to do it at a camporee or some kind of call out. And in the old days, they called that the tap out. So call out is the new thing and they will announce their names at that big campfire uh, ceremony and they will go off and do the start the induction process into the ordeal. Elected candidates are are given the information on how to go through their ordeal and encouraged to register and get ready for uh, the chapter's ordeal. Uh, if you're elected there's a period of time you could literally go through that um, or deal with any chapter. So that's within your lodge, you could go through it, but it's best to go with the one that you are a part of. Now, I do have a video, I'm going to put it up there, at, go to it at the end, I'm going to put it up there and go see that video if you're not familiar with the ordeal process. After the ordeal, the scout should be encouraged to do service for their unit whether it be a troop, a crew, or a ship. And that is very important. Later on, the, the adult leadership, us, we need to encourage them to go back and do the brotherhood part of their membership process. That seals the membership process at that point. Now that's about it for the election. As far as us adults, we need to help the youth have a successful election. That is very important. This is, this is a very important thing for a lot of young people getting into the Order of the Arrow. As you know, you are a part of the Order. You need to be involved in helping this go along in an appropriate way. So, and I know you do, you do this already. So I just keep that work up. And that's the wonderful thing. Uh, as long as we can keep our youth going and enjoying scouting, we'll keep them involved. And that's a wonderful thing. So if you have any more questions, I'm gonna put them up there. I'm gonna put them, I've already put them up there. You know, go ahead and do those. But at this point, make sure that you understand the whole process of the order of the arrow and that'll help make things go so much easier so till next time i will see you on the trail